Hi, I'm Soumya Raju and you are watching Straight Up by edX Live. The Telangana government is reluctant to implement Section 121C of the Right to Education Act and this issue was brought up by the NGO Democratic Sangha in Hyderabad. The provision mandates a 25% reservation for economically weaker students in private schools which was demanded through a one-day hunger strike on March 9th. Democratic Sangha submitted a memorandum to Principal Secretary of Commissioner and Director of School Education Secretary V. Karuna demanding immediate implementation of this section. It has been nine years since the state was formed and as per the NGO, over 10 lakh students have lost the chance to study in private schools of Telangana. PIL regarding the same was filed by Advocate Yogesh Tandava in Andhra Pradesh and Telangana High Courts in 2017. The AP High Court directed the state government to implement it in January 2022, but when the matter came up to the Telangana High Court, the Chief Justice remarked that it was non-urgent. Here's what Brahmachari Chaitanya, founder and president of Democratic Sangha, has to say about this issue. Neither the government nor the courts want to have any dialogue about the non-implementation of Section 121C. The government claims that it is developing government schools, which we agree as well then why not the bureaucrats and the political leaders send their children to government schools? They want to send their children to private schools, but they want the poor to send their children to government schools. We do understand that government schools don't have the facilities that a private school can provide. And Section 121C is the first step in the larger vision of all children studying together regardless of their family's income or social status. We demand that the Section 121C immediately be implemented in Telangana. The Supreme Court has issued a notice in a PIL filed for implementing Section 121C of the RTE Act. Once children are enrolled through the reservation system, the government will pay private schools a fixed amount of money periodically to cover their fees. That's all from us today. For more news from the field of education, stay tuned to edxlive.com. Do like, share and subscribe to our channel. Don't forget to mask up and stay safe.